Sa video na ito ay ididiskus ko ang special products, particularly square of a binomial. Ito ay lesson 1 para sa mga grade 8. Hello mga anak shis! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga anak shis! Ang topic natin ngayon ay tungkol sa special products. Ano ba ang special products? Products are obtained through definite pattern. Ito ay special dahil meron itong shortcut methods na hindi na kailangan ng long solutions. Bago ko ituro ang square of a binomial, kailangan muna natin i-recall ang loss of exponent na pwede natin gamitin dito sa topic na to. Number 1, the product of powers. So, A raised to M times A raised to N is equal to A raised to M plus N. Ibig sabihin, kapag nag-multiply ka na parehong base at may parehong exponent, i-add mo lang yung exponents nila. Example, X raised to 4 times X raised to 5 is equal to X raised to 4 plus 5. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Another example, negative 3m cubed times 4m raised to 8. Dito, kailangan mong i-multiply yung numerical coefficient na negative 3 times positive 4. So, negative 3 times positive 4 is equal to negative 12. Then, meron silang variables na m raised to 3 at m raised to 8. Ang gagawin mo lang dyan ay i-add mo yung exponents nila. So, 3 plus 8 is equal to 11. Number 2, power of a power. So, the quantity of a raised to m to the power of n is equal to a raised to m times n. Example, the quantity of x raised to 4 to the power of 5 is equal to x raised to power of a power ang rule na to, kaya 4 times 5. So, the final answer is x raised to 20. Letter B. The quantity of negative 4x cubed to the power of 2 is equal to, kailangan mong ihiwalay yung negative 4. Negative 4 raised to 2. Kasi 2 yung power niya. Times x raised to 3 times 2. Kasi power to a power kailangan mong i-multiply. So, ang magiging final answer nito, 16x raised to 6. Then, ang pangatlong loss of exponent natin is the power of a product. So, the quantity of AB raised to N is equal to A raised to M times B raised to M. Example, the quantity of 2x raised to 3 is equal to, ihiwalay mo yung number or yung numerical coefficient. So, 2 raised to 3. I-distribute mo yung power doon sa 2 at doon sa x. So, 2 raised to 3 times x raised to 3. So, 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Then, x times x times x is equal to x cubed. Kailangan ninyong tandaan ito dahil pwede nating i-apply dito sa special products. Meron iba't ibang types ng special products. Pero ang i-discuss ko muna ngayon ay ang square of a binomial. Kasi masyadong mahaba kapag i-discuss ko lahat sa video na to. Ano ang binomial? Ito ay dalawang terms. So, dito meron tayong first term at last term. So, dalawang term yon. Then, square. So, dito meron tayong raised to 2 or power of 2. Paano natin isosolve yan? Diba ang expanded form yan ay a plus b times a plus b. Para makuha mo yung sagot nito, gagamitin natin yung FOIL method. Ano ang FOIL method? Diba ang FOIL method is first term times first term 
is equal to a squared or a times a is equal to a squared. Ano ang O? Ang O is the outer, yung mga nasa labas. So, A times B is equal to AB. Ano yung I? Yun yung inner, yung mga nasa loob. So, B times A is equal to BA or AB. Then, ano yung L? Yun yung last term. So, last term times last term is B times B is equal to B square. Para makuha mo yung sagot, i-combine mo yung like terms, AB plus AB is equal to 2AB. So, ang magiging resulta nito, i-plus mo lahat yan, A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Ito yung long method ng square of a binomials. Ngayon, dahil special siya, meron siyang shortcut method. First, square the first term or simply A squared. Second, twice the product of the first term and last term, or 2AB. Then, square the second term. Ano ang second term dito, di ba? Yung B. So, square mo lang, B squared. So, ang pattern dito is A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Ito ay perfect square trinomial. Kung nahihirapan kang i-memorize to, pwede mo nang gamitin ito. Sample na to, ang first term dito ay ang A. Ang last term is yung B. Para mas maintindihan nyo, meron akong mga examples. So, gamitin natin yung A squared plus 2AB plus B squared na shortcut method. Example number 1, the quantity of A plus 4 raised to 2 is equal to A squared plus 2 times ano yung A natin or yung first term natin is A times last term natin is 4. So, 2 times A times 4 plus ano yung B squared natin or yung last term natin, yun yung 4. So, magiging 4 raised to 2. So, ang magiging final answer nito is A squared plus 8A plus 16. Number 2 example, the quantity of P plus 7 raised to 2 is equal to ano ang first term dito? Yung P, di ba? Raised to 2 plus 2. Ano ang first? Yung P. Ano yung last? Yung 7. Plus, ano yung last? Last term is 7, kaya 7 is squared. Then, ang magiging final answer, P squared plus 14P plus 49. Number 3, the quantity of 2N plus 6 raised to 2. So, dito, ano ang first term? So, ang first term natin ay 2N. Ang last term natin ay 6. So, meron tayong 2N squared plus 2 times 2N times 6 plus ano ang last term? Yun yung 6, kaya 6 squared. So, 2n raised to 2 is 4n squared. Plus, 2 times 2n times 6 is equal to 24n. Plus, 6 times 6 is 36. So, the final answer is 4n squared plus 24n plus 36. Number 4, the quantity of 5y plus 6x squared z to the power of 2. Dito, may kasamang number or may kasamang numerical coefficient ang y. Dito naman, dalawang letter or dalawang variable. So, kaya natin nirecall kanina ang mga laws of exponent dahil merong mga ganitong examples. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, ano ang first term, di ba? Yung 5y. So, first term is squared plus 2 times first term which is 5y times last term which is 6x squared z plus last term squared is 6x squared z raised to 2. Next, simplify mo yung term. So, gagamitin natin yung power of a product dito sa first term. So, the quantity of 5y squared is equal to 25y squared plus 2 times isimplify mo muna yung nasa loob So, 5 times 6 is equal to 30. Then, multiply mo yung variables. So, 
30 yx squared z plus so dito gagamitin natin yung combination ng power of a product at power to power so ang magiging sagot niyan is 36x raised to 4 z square then simplify mo yung terms magiging 25y square plus 60y x raised to 2 z plus 36x raised to 4 z ito na yung final answer Paano naman kapag may negative? So, same din ang rule. Ang magiging product nito ay a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Or, first term squared minus 2 times first times last plus last squared. Ito, pwede mong gamitin kung mas madali para sa'yo. So, example number 1. The quantity of w minus 9 raised to 2. Ano ang first term dito, di ba yung W? Then, ang last term natin is negative 9. So, ang magiging sagot niyan is W squared plus 2 times W times negative 9 plus negative 9 squared. Sundan mo lang ito para hindi ka malito. Then, simplify mo yung term, magiging W squared minus 18W plus 81. Then, another example, the quantity of 3A minus 4 raised to 2. So, ano ang first term dito? Diba 3a? Ang last term dito ay negative 4. Gamitin natin itong mga patterns. So, 3a squared plus 2 times 3a times negative 4 plus negative 4 squared. Gagamitin ulit natin yung power of a product. So, ito magiging 9a squared plus 2. Then, i-multiply mo to 3a times negative 4 is equal to negative 12a plus negative 4 squared is 16. Then, the final answer is 9a squared minus 24 plus 16. Then, the last example, the quantity of y minus 2z squared x raised to 2. So, ano ang first term dito? Diba yung y? Ang last term natin is negative 2z squared x. First term is squared plus 2 times y times negative 2z squared x plus the quantity of negative 2z squared x raised to 2. So, y squared plus 2 times negative 2z squared xy plus 4z raised to 4x squared. So, ang magiging final answer nito is y squared minus 4z squared xy plus 4z raised to 4x squared. So, yun lamang mga anak shis, itry ninyo ito sa inyong mga bahay, sa inyong mga tahanan. At abangan ninyo ang aking susunod na video about sa special products na sum and difference of two squares, cube of a binomial, at square of a trinomial. Stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy. Bago ko tapusin ang video na ito, shout out po sa lahat ng Josephians, sa lahat ng Jadians, sa lahat ng friends and relatives ko, sa lahat po ng Nova Vizcayanos, stay safe po tayo. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-share ang video na to. Bye mga anak, shis!